Marcus Triscothic produced an innings of epic proportions as he batted through six and a half hours overall in making an unbeaten 210 as Somerset drew with Sussex, a result which now gives both teams a great chance of avoiding relegation. Whatever was happening elsewhere with these two teams' relegation rivals Hampshire and Worcestershire, the last day at the Brighton and Hovejobs.com county ground was going to be all about bonus points after the penultimate day washout. The visitors resumed their innings on 114 for two in reply to Sussex's 409 and Triscothic, who started on 53, and James Hildreth were soon making batting look fairly easy on a placid pitch. Hildreth has had a fabulous season, yet has still gone unrewarded by his country. His seventh four of this innings had him at the 50 mark for the tenth time this summer in Championship cricket, his latest using up 111 balls. Soon after that, Triscothic was at the 58th hundred of his phenomenal first-class career and his third of this particular campaign. He continues to churn out the runs and this was his second ton in successive innings. The King is most certainly not dead. He'd faced 148 balls and that was his 14th boundary. And on and on these two experienced and talented batsmen went taking their side to the lunch break with a total on 239 for two. And they continue to add yet more runs to that total in the afternoon with some terrific shots from Triscothic in particular. Hildreth had made 68 of a third wicket partnership of 174, those being accumulated in 44 overs. When the stand was ended, as Hildreth glanced Chris Jordan too fine down the leg side to be held behind by Ben Brown, Somerset now on 256 for three. Jim Allenby then missed out, edging Jordan to Chris Nash to fall without troubling the scorers. Triscothic was not going to give his wicket away, however. There have been some who thought that the man who played 76 test matches for England may be past his best as he approaches his 40th birthday. But ever since he signed a new one-year deal at Taunton, he's piled on the runs and he was now at his 150. Only 187 deliveries used to get that far as well, thanks to 19 fours and one six. Some in the West Country have questioned Somerset's ageing team this summer, but it was two who've been around for a while in Peter Trigo and Triscothic who now push the total up. Valuable batting bonus points being gleaned as they did so. Trigo, who has some good memories of this ground, mixed a solid defence with some big hits, such as this one off Luke Wells. And that helped the 34-year-old to his 59th career half-century off his 71st delivery, an innings containing that maximum and seven other boundaries. Somerset headed for the tea break on 374 for four, close to maximum batting points while reducing Sussex to only one with the ball. And that's just what happened to make sure that, in spite of all the rain, Somerset took maximum points away from Hove for a drawn game. The 400 was reached in the 94th over, and now all eyes turn to Triscothic to see if he could get the few runs he needed now to make it to his 200. This was that moment, an almost unbelievable one for a man who must have wondered from time to time if he could still do such a thing. Well, he clearly can, his 26th four taking him to the magic mark of his 258th delivery. It's becoming an astonishing end to the summer for the opener, who now found himself third on the run scoring charts in the top division this year. He was right to take in the applause from right around the ground. Let's not forget Trigo either, who was after his ton before the game was ended. This six helped. And the 13th hundred of his career arrived off his 128th delivery, that being his 13th four to go with two sixes. And immediately after that, the two captains shook hands on the draw and waited for the outcome of the matches involving their relegation rivals. Both went their way. Somerset ended on 438 for four from 100 overs. Triscothic on 210, the partnership between him and Trigo, realising 176 runs. Somerset took 13 points to Sussex's 11, and it was later confirmed that both Worcestershire and Hampshire had lost their games. That means with one match to go, Somerset needs seven points at home to Warwickshire to confirm their safety, while Sussex will require nine as they head to Headingley.